Hello, galactic travelers, cosmic crew. What's happening, multidimensional beings? <laughs> For reals. Woo, woo, woo. So much has happened since the first, since 110111. November 1st, 2018. <laughs> um, with codes that are being completed, uh, light codes, energies that processing through our fields, that's what some of the, the light language was that came online. Um, every single video, pretty much, that I've done over the past three or four days since the first all happened on the first and there's so much information and I and I want to show everyone how this knowing came to pass because you know this isn't the first time we've had these completion codes Six months ago, whenever we completed the OA, I described all these um, sacred geometry pattern circles that, you know, this is when the 2.5 came online, that, you know, looking at the dots, I mean, these are just all, we wrote this story for us to awaken from it, to complete it. And when we open the Ark of the Covenant, on the 29th the Ark of the Covenant was the one was creation was all of us united and blended in a harmonic that then allows the release and imprint of our creation and this happened on the 29th 10 29 10 11 11 I know for sure that happened because Aja Andromeda and her team of Essenes were in France at the locations at the same exact time that she was completing and they heard the glass breaking that the ark of the covenant had been had been completed was open the mercy seat had been lifted that same moment in texas is when i stopped and made that video about the two sons and sarah Sarah was the energy of the Essenes and the link back to the galactic or future or ancient past into our creation, thus completing the creation. However, this is always a process. So this is why this conversation needs to start because this is all leading up to 11, 11, 11. And, and, and it's so exciting and it's huge and it's big and it's quantum. Like, and, and the codes that came in that I'm gonna keep describing on really the second and then the third in the middle of the night were the Giza Plateau codes specifically the isis codes these were the isis codes that were activated in our dna but energy was finally on the planet to integrate and these are the codes that opened and started up the flower of life crystalline grid CDT time 11-3-11, November 11th, 2018, 
at 1.02 a.m., which also lines up with when the OA was completed in May because that was May 3rd. And if I remember correctly, it was at 3.33 a.m. that that final text was sent. The 29th, whenever the grid, because what the Ark of the Covenant was, was the energy. And, and this links back to the one live that I did explaining the Antarctica. In the middle of Antarctica, there is a circle with two slices cut out. And I'll put here the date that I found this because this was another huge shift. I mean, these are these are shifts that have been building and these are these are things that just had to be called in in the physical through an awakened being and shift it um, to step back in our true reality. When we found that Antarctic, what basically this was in Libra season when everything was coming back online with the Arcturus energy because this is, this is what the grid was. The Ark of the Covenant was, is truly, all it is, is your brain's capacity to not see black and white, to understand that we are all one being, having different perceptions even though in a physical body when we're in lower densities it feels like there isn't anything else that is us ascending through if you will the animalistic matter within us so that we can see these larger perceptions of things which raises your consciousness which then allows the organic process within your body to to filter and rise but this is the uncomfortable experience that we just have to go through the most important thing to realize is that all of this is connected the realm was set without these energies and that was completed and then we had a huge solar flare then and here's the dates of when that happened then on the 20 and and i'm going to talk about um nemesis maturity uh youtube channel and blue kool-aid and i want to thank you guys so much because their work on their channels is confirming the visions and confirming these keys that are being that have been unlocked now The energy of the Arcturus and Izar and Spica is the history of humanity. It was always to get to the point where we could blend those two and basically create gray so that it would give us organic intelligence and intuition because we realize when we get to that point that there is no judgment in any action all you're using the memory for is to make a new perception to make a new choice there is no blame because all of your akash is awakened and you have tons and tons of data coming in all at once it's not just your perception it's the all the perceptions that are that is in your akash that you're connected to within your starseed DNA and you realize that. So then of course there's no blame because you didn't live all those out. <laughs> so when that was completed on the planet, we had a huge solar flare. Then on the 29th, and of course there's all kinds of things, everybody's doing their parts. Um, so you guys 
are doing this with us and this is all going to make sense to you maybe why you stopped and did certain things went in circles um like intuition goddess i know for a fact she was doing work with this you know when she talked about her video circling with the archangels and unlocking portals you know in her room it, it it's because those are energy it's not in your room you know it's it's in a physical field so on the 29th when we unlocked the covenant and and th that meant that within the human dna now the the brain is templated to be able to utilize and open the Ark of the Covenant. Covenant. There was enough of the energy of the human that we had concreted and opened that within the human genome. And remind you that the that the energy, you know, we opened up that energy before on the act on this realm and on the planet and in the universes. And in the multiverses, this this was what Earth was all about. This is why it was the key. This is why we called it key on. This is where cry on and everything else came from. But key on, that's because if, if we knew from the galactic universe multiverses to have peace across the galaxies, if we could take everyone's different perceptions and every being's different perception and and all of the trauma and everything else that all the races of the different star races from inside and out had and and polarized so that we could experience one another then we could understand at a deep level where they're coming from and then drop the judgment when we do that the beautiful design of this creation is that then we ascend to a point where we truly are creating our own reality by our frequency and and by our thoughts which is a beautiful beautiful world and and we've done it <laughs> On the 30th, Blue Kool-Aid, so this happened on the 29th, and remember this energy from Arcturus, it's in Libra, it's that 22, 22 degrees is where Spica, um, Nekar, and Arcturus are going to merge, and are merged now. It, the solar flare that we saw prior to the arc opening was a huge burst of energy coming in from one side of our sun. This, these are the keys. We're switching suns. It, we, we opened up the full energetic connection from all the inf infinite verses to now receive, if you will, like through a umbilical cord the full blend of the galactic energies up to this point in humanity we did not have that energy this was just confirmed with magenta pixie and the three seven and twelve seven is the template that's been on the planet that was the crested body that was here if you will that's the seven the 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 vessel the human body human mind okay and the three is the understanding of the triad to become christed to blend the mind with the body and then this then after you have the triad then the seven then goes to 12 you open up a dimensionality into 12. If you add all those together, those equal 22. The 3, 7, and 12 all link up to the Tetragrammaton. If you look, then thank you, Amanda. Amanda brought this. She said, I don't know what this means. <laughs> 
and this was a key that that I needed um, to for us to solve this puzzle and to open the ISIS codes in Giza, which is now where what I'm talking about. Um, on the thirtieth. I'm sorry, the Tetragrammaton, Grammaton, um, that's 7, 12, 22, 6, 14. And again, this is, this is the Akash. This is how this works. I just started writing it. All of it just unfolded in front of my eyes. And then we just kept connecting. Um, but the magenta pixie information on the new multidimensionality that's online is confirming that the flower of life was activated, which is the grid of our creation and bringing back on all of our multidimensionality. The tetragrammatron, then those numbers lead us back. It's this all started with, uh, that those number sequences from Tetragrammatron and then a message that I got through YouTube from Ashtar to go back and watch one specific videos and look at dates. And when I looked at those dates is what triggered all these other number sequences um, with the mirror and merge of the code. And, and I'm just going to show y'all a picture. I'm not going to get all into this because it's a lot to explain, but bottom line is on 11211, so on November 2nd, 2011, these codes were solved, were completed, and then at, at right after I completed this and went to sleep, and was sent a specific Arcturian healing um, that is on the playlist. If you go down to the very bottom, it's the last one that, that I've received. And that healing chamber took me to Giza in the meditation as I was listening and um, was made for us to turn on those pyramids because the codes had come out. So after I completed the the healing chamber meditation, shut everything off in the house, was guided to just lay on my side and be completely still. And we were in Giza. Um, Orion, you know, chamber goes to, I mean, King's chamber goes to Orion. Isis goes to Sirius and Zeta Reticuli. There's a separate chamber there that they don't know what it is, but that's what it is. And then there's another chamber that goes to Alpha Draconic Thuban. Underneath, Thoth says he left his time machine. Well, it's not, or his spaceship. Okay, he left his spaceship, but it's not a spaceship as a human may perceive. It is the circle geometry that's on like the original cosmic. It's a hyper, hyper uh, cosmic Christie logo. It's a it's a hyperstar. A hyperstar is when an atom reaches to the chi of nine and then and and then ascends out of the dimension. So. that spaceship was or or time machine was turned on in the planet because we had the human genome at the nine and the energy on the planet was able to support it which created the three six nine and can had our and turned on the flower of life crystalline grid because at that point, we had already collapsed the Ark of the Covenant. We had already collapsed the polarity, the, the mirrors that were up all around us, the creator beings, the, 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 all of us, the, the ones that are doing this work. We now know that we were creating that, and we've now unified enough to be able to create the collective. And... It's not only from one dimension now. 
this is Isis, Ma'at, Thoth. This is, this is heaven on earth. This, and But this is the teachings. Um, and I'll put up some different little keys here too with numbers because I'm seeing them flash in front of my eyes. So at 11.03, 11 at 102 a.m. flower of life opened and I and I saw oh my gosh it, it it's so beautiful it's a ton of colors that go went all up and together and went into a pyramid and then locked in to a uh, kind of a square and then started spinning in, in in all different directions and then just lit up into just light fire and since these codes had already been completed on the second it just linked back up and here are the numbers and I got these from the numerology in my name um, which is one two one or two and when you mirror and merge, you know, that makes the, the ISIS key. And then, I know y'all are tired of hearing about this, but it's not about Prince the person. It's about that consciousness. It's, that is the higher dimension that's like a lighthouse right now. Where it's a, cre it is, it is like the top of the ladder. These communications through who we perceive or passed on if we're getting a lot of information through them you know the prince thing is just is that's just a way for me to connect it all and it's how we wrote this plan to come through because of the world stage that we're gonna end up on um it's a consciousness so but i knew he was a, a, a twin of my soul um and i think now i know he's an ab negative i didn't know that for sure but th that's where some of these numbers came in because i was a two he was an eight and there's also i knew he was a nine and i was a nine we both have uh five wait one two three we both have four nines in our name, which is back to the 36-year procession, so that makes sense. Um, anyway, there was just some, I got some confirmations on some things that I've already known, but it's so nice to get confirmations. Um, the 010110, the 11, one one and then the 1, that is notice 1, notice 11. One one this is the 22 to the 44 i mean the 33 to the 44 but you the zeros and the ones you have to mirror and merge and then it creates a much longer sequence and then that sequence is only linear so then you you have to follow the ones to create the lines because all that is is energy flow so you know you make a cross with you you cross sector those and then if i had a computer you know we could completely keep cross sectoring and then what happens is that creates the flower of life grid and we got that from the zeros and ones then from an energetic perspective, since it's quantum, you can't only look at it from zeros and ones because then we have to look at the tone. And so then we start looking at it from L and O. And an O is a six energy and L is a three energy. And I mean, 33 being the old human code and so then you start seeing instead of the zero one one zero one zero 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 one zero one one zero you start seeing six three three six three six 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 three six three three six 
Okay, so that's where the the quantum energies now, because now all of these aspects and these energetic frequencies are being unified. So what I'm what I'm showing us, okay, so then these sixes and th then you start flipping and mirroring, and merging, and what happens and why you know we say cancer to Capricorn and we do the yin and the yang and the six and the nine is because it's not about the six or the actual nine it's the flow of energy through it what what we've done is collapse and in and, and invert back on itself so when we look at these codes or when you get codes just remember one of the isis keys is to mirror and merge and write it down and then turn it around and flip it over and write it again in that same way and then turn it back around and then look at it and if there's the 33 okay flipped upside down and merge creates an eight when you merge them together but when they're broken apart then then energy can flow through it like a river when we do that with uh the that's why the 33 key that's the crested key to break open your own matrix that's all you're doing you're you're realizing that it's a reflection of you and whenever you do that, it flips these, these, these organic codes within our body, okay? Because it isn't just, it isn't just a matrix. And to, please don't get me wrong. This is, you know, don't get me on that it's not a hollow. But we had to break, these keys had to be completed so that it would break open for the collective and it would turn into quantum and go from the one two one one two one to the seven twelve twenty two six fourteen and that has been completely completed yesterday integrating so much information and multidimensionality understanding that all of our gifts are being returned all of our quantum spiritual gifts are being returned all we have to do is get our frequency up to that level and understand that now this happened on the third and depending on what frequency and timeline you're on because we're all on different ones for reasons that this frequency that's hitting the planet is started out in you know from the sun you know and and then and then went into the atmosphere um on the 30th you can see a complete pole shift from blue kool-aid's satellite pictures that he happened upon there's we're missing about seven hours of footage on some of them they should all be the same it's a complete blast of energy that that and then it goes in and i'm going to put the pictures here it splits and then there's a shift and then it happens twice um and then when the cameras come back up, there's even half of the circle is dark, half of it is light. And then on some of the others that look at the density in the color, you can even see dragons coming up. That happened on the 30th. And that is after the Ark of the Covenant was completed, but Aja Andromeda and the Essenes team were still clearing out um, energies and stuff because after the Ark of the Covenant was completed then that day is whenever that Akashic download hit me with Sarah then her team was uh, clearing and blending basically kind of like how we released the the really dense 
uh, 3D black dragon, if you will, energy, denseness, they were freeing the white dragon. And her videos there were the black dragon and the white dragon merging to create since they were balanced. Then the next day there is whenever they unlocked, um, they were guided underneath some of the chateaus and I forget which one she was at, but there's there was pyramids and things that had to be unlocked over there. And so when she unlocked those, that's whenever all this Akash hit me. And of course, I did not know she was doing that until after these things were happening, okay? It was just confirmation, and it's but it's how it works. So all that work had led up to the Akash opening up within my field to integrate, and the energy was right on the planet that I could complete this, these number sequences, and we could launch um, the full new creation. <laughs> so. 2.5 okay it's it's taking and I'm starting to get a better idea so I backed up to say that because remember this energy is hitting from the atmosphere then it's hitting the earth you know it's coming through the sun then the energy hits the human genome so you can see how quickly it is happening I mean it's happening real time now with me and the planetary sun and satellite images that we're getting so how i'm how it's it's trickling it's going like 2.2.5 days 2.5 to 3 days which is going to bring us to from the 3rd which is going to bring us to the 6th and the 7th well, holy Toledo, I went and looked up the 6th of November and the astrology and there's a humongous portal and in our chart, in my chart, because remember this is the divine feminine energy now is funneling through, I mean that is the dose, that is the 22, that is the energy that that we brought came here to bring an awaken and since i'm the ab negative template then from notice one one and notice one so it's like it's opening a portal and the i mean my moons are lined up perfectly on 22 to my moon is 22 degrees of arcturus the collective moons at 22 i'm going to put everything up here mercuries are on top of each other I mean, it, on Izar, and then, oh, I mean, I think Mercury's at Antares, actually, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, um, but I can't even remember them all. I'm kind of freaking out. Okay, that's, <laughs> so that is all lined up, and then if you look at the progress chart for my natal chart, then there's even more lined up, and you see this. Uh, with the collective transits and you see these green quincunxes are like a runway that are going straight to um, Bellatrex and Beltigis and Orion all right which are like the freedom fighter uh, first gen second generation Orion stars because which makes sense because that's all that energy is funneling through to those other dimensional aspects of us now see it's like coming through our field more into what we may consider the ancient past or ancient future but it's funneling through so this is going to be on the sixth and then we have the new moon on the seventh and whoa right so Two and a half to three days usually is when it starts. And then what I'm seeing is on the seventh day and then the ninth day. So if, you know, then we'd be at the 12th. If I did nine days from the third, we'd be at November 12th, which is the day after 11, 11, 11. And if one, you know, 10, 29, 11, 
which is 101111, was the day of the Ark of the Covenant. And then the first, November 1st, 110111 was massive. We brought down, you know, massive multidimensional turned on for the planet. We are now in a true quantum configuration within the energy and it's locking in. And so, wow, what's going to happen on 11, 11, 11? We are anchoring and this is, you know, we're getting to the point where we really are starting to split these dimensions and go quantum. So, <sighs> there'll be lots more information and I, I hope I did a decent job of explaining this. Um, the message from the White Wing 2 is that nature is creation and destruction. I mean, we, learning through death and rebirth is the seven. We have to remember that the Trinity is involved, the true Trinity, the, the Trinity of, of intuition, intelligence, you know, the, the chi, the blending and knowing that you are creator and you are an aspect of one. And then whenever we do that, then it really just flips on switches and merging in all your multidimensional aspects to now is the most important thing. And I'm going to add, so y'all have been going to the Arcturian Healing Chamber. I, it's great that I, I saw you guys go in there. So look at, now look at Cosmic Meditations on Cosmic Christie or, um, and then I'm also going to add one here. This is from Ophina and um, Sickle and this meditation came in at a very specific time where I needed to start understanding multidimensionality and this is called soul weaving and I remember when it came in I was freaking out because I was early earlier in my process and I didn't understand I didn't it, it I was still in that polarity and it was scaring me but I my I just knew that I needed to do it and this was this really helped me shift in my Isis energy and this is within all of us um, these are the energies that we're integrating back in because a lot of these pure frequencies are, are we didn't have them. They weren't available on the planet. It was cut out of the circle. So that's all that's happening in this meditation, but they guide you through it beautifully. And in this new energy, this is exactly what we have to do because realize if if now that we have created the eight, now that we are from this from this one perspective here on earth, we are guiding all perspectives throughout all timelines. And if if those are stuck on a repeat, then then it's jank in the wheel. So we have to, we're blending all of those back in to now so that we can relearn them and get acquainted with them because now is when <laughs> we're going to start being like multiple places at the same time is completely online is what I was told. I'm going to be able to be in multiple places at one time. Haven't figured out exactly. I mean, I got an idea, <laughs> but... I'm working on it. I'm remembering is what's happening. I'm remembering. But that makes sense. We're here to save humanity. We are the angles. We are the angels. We are the black holes. We are the we are bringing the shift. 
all of us, every human being on this planet that is connected in this energy field. If they have a soul, they are doing this. Remember, there's a lot of people on this planet that don't necessarily have a soul. So those of us that are, we are doing this shift. And so, of course, how are we going to be? And we have the quantum ability to pro project ourselves once we remember how to do it. And we can only do that if we're coming from pure heart and unity. So that's how... We assist so many at one time. But we're doing it also through other beings. Because it's the same message. It's not about self. And I can tell you for sure, for reals, one hundo, that that is already happening. So, woo, we signed up for a fun ride, didn't we? We were like in line fighting over who's going to get to do this, who's going to get to do that. And we were like, oh, if we do that, we got to do all that. <laughs> what an experience. So grateful, so grateful, so grateful. I'll talk to you guys soon. Mwah. Oot, oot. I call in the highest timeline of all dimensions of all space and time in this now. I activate the sun. I activate the moon. I activate Mars. I activate Venus. I activate Mercury. I activate Uranus. I activate Saturn. I activate Jupiter. I activate Neptune. I activate Pluto. I activate North Node. I activate South Node. Spin, spin, spin. Two to the eight. Two to the eight. Two to the eight.